Hey everyone, it's BGS Returns Day. Um, really cool cards in here. Nothing really crazy expensive, but some of these cards are actually a pop one um, and pop two, something like that. So let's get into it. Let's get right into the mail. All right, how many cards is this? Like five? That's usually about how many I send in at once. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, check this out. Okay, so, this was a Gate Guardian. Um, nine. They gave it 8-5 centering. Look at those beautiful subgrades. 8-5 centering. Man, what did they say? Hmm. Okay, so they said the back had some nicks. Jesus Christ, I can't see that. Where? Oh, I know what they were doing. They looked at the edges. No. Surface? I don't understand this. I understand that the front is... Kind of not centered right. Like I can, I see that, but and then they were saying what? Oh, you should be happy that you got ten edges because there's damage on the edges. There's damage apparently right here. I don't understand. And there's something on the surface here. I I, I sent this in for graded card review because I thought it should get a nine five. I still think it should get an i5. Um, I'm probably going to wind up trying again, and then if not, I'll probably crack it and send it in. But that's a weird one, man. Um, oh, check this out. This is a pop one. Tournament pack eight. Dunamis Dark Witch. Lots of people don't even really know about this card, but this card is really, really nice. Really clean. Pretty hard to come by. Gold label. Bam! Check that out. Um, 9.5 gem mint. Surface got a 9. Not really sure what happened there. I honestly thought that the edges were a little bit bad, but then the edges got 9.5s. I don't know. Man, I just don't really understand. I really thought I understood BGS, but turns out I really just don't. Ah, Slate Warrior, Tournament Pack 8. Really cheap card. 9-5. This one got a quad. So 9-5's all around. Not really a card people care about. But it's a pretty cool super. It looks better in super than it does in uh, Prismatic from the game. Alright, what do we have next? Ooh, this is a big one. This is a Tournament Pack 7, Break of the Magical Warrior. Miss got a 9-5. Quad plus. 9-5's all around, and then it's 10 on the centering. It's just like, you look at these two, right? And you're just like, this is a 9-5 centering, but this is 10. How different can these possibly be? Subjectivity, but this is a really really strong breaker. It's really weird. So when I when I saw the grade of this It was a pop one and then it's like someone submitted the same card in like the same week because now it's a pop two um, It was graded just a few days after this Beautiful card. I love that card a lot last card Is Nice. Change of heart. You got the nine centering, ten edges, nine corner, nine point five corners, and nine point five surface. Yeah, that seems about right. This card has gone up a lot in price. Um, <laughs> I was actually selling um, this card for six hundred bucks, 
and nobody bought it. So then I went and I put subgrades on it. Um, and since I've done that, which is like a month, this card um, has sold in PSA 10 for two grand. There's one of these. There's one. Uh, there's a basic 9.5 listed at um, 1500 or something. The price has gone crazy. So overall, really nice cards in this return. I'm really confused about this Gate Guardian. I, I understand what this means. I, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's because they saw it was an 8.5 and they're more, they're more likely to just say, I don't want to have to break it out the case. So they just give it the same grade. I don't know. I, I think it's worth trying again. It's pretty cheap. It's like 15 bucks or something like that. Um, so it's worth trying again to try to get this. Because I want to try to preserve those 10 subgrades. It's got two 10 subgrades. That's really strong. But um, anyways, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.